After a brief period unoccupied, continuous operation of International Skylab began in March 1976. Both a Soyuz and an Apollo Command Service Module each delivered a second crew, Joint Expedition 2. It would be the first for both programs. An American would launch aboard the Soyuz, and a Soviet launch aboard the Apollo. This was to be a long-duration flight. The primarily American crew would spend four months aboard, leaving the station in July, and the Soviet crew would stay twice as long, for eight months, and leave in November. The third American crew, Joint Expedition 3, launched on a Saturn 1B in the last of the Apollo Command Service Modules and docked to the station in October of 1976. The Soviet Joint Expedition 3 crew arrived on a TKS spacecraft two weeks later. It was the first successful human-tested TKS flight. The TKS, which includes a VA capsule and an added FSG module, gave the station even more room for living space and experiments.
After the command service module left the station in March of 1977, the first Progress cruise ship launched to the IS, carrying with it a docking adapter to allow Progress to dock to the former Apollo docking port. Progress flights would continue routinely to supply the station as crews began longer and longer stays aboard. Since the U.S. had no other spacecraft capable of reaching the station, all missions to IS afterward would be aboard the TKS or Soyuz while the U.S. developed the space shuttle. While they waited for the shuttle, the station grew larger. In September 1977, Salyut 6 launched into orbit on a proton rocket. Originally designed to be its own station, Salyut 6 was repurposed to act as an additional module for International Skylab. Unlike the single forward port on Salyut 4, Salyut 6 had a forward and aft port. However, since it was redesigned to dock with the IS, Salyut 6 aft port would include an international docking mechanism, which would allow Salyut 4 to dock to it. Salyut 6 would then become the middle section of the expanded station. The additional IDM, codenamed Rasha Srini, or Rash for short, could function as an airlock if necessary, and added four additional docking ports equipped with the androgynous port that would become standard. Two days later, a TKS launched from Bangalore with the next crew rotation. Its first stop, dock with the front port of the Salyut 6. The combined TKS and Salyut 6 then burned for a rendezvous orbit with International Skylab. As the new module approached the station, the TKS docked with Salyut 6 undocked and moved towards the International Skylab. Salyut 4 then undocked from the first IDM, now renamed Unity, and docked with the TKS and moved away from Skylab.
Salyut 6, with one cosmonaut aboard, approached and its front port docked with Unity. The TKS maneuvered Salyut 4 back into alignment and undocked, allowing Salyut 4 to dock back with the rush. The TKS then docked with Unity. With the arrival of Salyut 6 and the TKS, the size of the station nearly doubled. Soyuz, Progress, and the TKS spacecraft would continue to service IS for the next five years while the US completed work on the shuttle and the Soviets began work on their Buran shuttle. 